Hey YouTube. What's up? It's Breaking Slingerland's back. And uh, right now I have a song review for you. Um, as you guys may know if you're a Muse fan, uh, Muse is coming out with, with a new album called The Second Law, which is to be released in the fall of this year. And they just released their the lead single called Survival. And uh, I just watched it, I just listened to it, and I don't know what to say. I really don't. I, I feel like there are a ton of positives on this song as there are a ton of negatives. There are... It seems like Muse almost tried to reinvent a new sound. And, like, I, I understand they were trying to change their sound on this song uh, to, to build up for the next, for this album, which was going to change its sound even more. But what they did on here, they almost tried to change their sound and it ended up sounding like Queen. Um... The vocals, oh man. Okay, and this is gonna be uh, one of my rather cynical views uh, reviews. So I'm sorry, I, I won't take too long. But um, the, uh, the it's hard to explain. The vocals were weird. Um, you had Bellamy, Matt Bellamy's voice, and then you had, and but then you had this weird like backing track, which almost sounded like it sounded like Queen had a baby with like Glee or something. And um, one thing I will say about this track that I just saw is that the instrumentals are fantastic. The instrumentals are really cool, and the build-ups are really nice. And instrumentally, the, mu the, the music in the song is fantastic. But um, the vocals, man, um, it was so weird. Um, it was just uh, so far off. It was so off par from what music has done before. So it's hard to think. Um, it's hard to really think about it. Um, I don't really know what to say about this song. It's I don't really have an opinion on it. It's just so different and out there. I can't compare it to anything, so I just have to rate it as it is. Um, I think this song is definitely something different. It's a step outside the box, but I'm not talking outside the box. I'm talking like a mile outside the box. It's pretty different. I mean, going in there, I was originally expecting dubstep because that's what they were saying was going to be on the new album. They're going to be experienced with electronic music, but it doesn't seem like it at all. This is sheer stadium rock, stadium rock, like triumphant rock, kind of. And uh, I'm not surprised that the Olympics decided to use this song uh, as their theme, mainly because it's got good, it's got good lyrics. Like, I'm going to win, I'm going to be successful, I'm going to win, and uh, try to be motivating. And mainly because Muse is a hometown band, they're from England. But um, what they did with this song, they just stepped so far out of the box, it's hard to really think about it. Um, I guess um, you can appreciate it for its reasons, like instrumentals, and the meaning, and uh, the tone and everything, and the, and the, uh, the mood. But... But you ha when you think about it and look outside the box and compare it to their past stuff, you're you're honestly just sitting there wondering what the heck just happened, you know? I mean, it's a solid song. It's a solid song, but I don't really have much to say. Um, I'm really I'm really looking forward to Muse's new album because I love Muse personally. I've listened to Absolution, Black Holes and Revelations, Resistance, um, and a bunch of different stuff, but. I think this will step outside of their box and really test them and really kind of see what they will mesh together on this album. And, it's, and as weird as this song was in the past, it's getting me excited. It's getting me really excited for the new album because I'm, I'm really anxious to see what they what they do with this kind of production and this kind of feel. And um, it's getting me really excited. I don't really have much else to say about the song. I think it's solid. Um, I don't think it's great. I don't hate it either. Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of accepting it for for what it is and uh, appreciating it for what it's got. I mean, it's solid. It'll do. Um, and honestly, it's it's really pumping me up for the new album. So yeah. I think I'm gonna give this. I think I'll give this about a halfway review. Um, I mean, it's it's like a six or a seven. It's like a six or seven. It's really solid. But uh, I recommend if you're a Muse fan, go try it out. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like it keep listening. I mean, it's um, it's definitely a new path, and I'm really excited to see where it leads to. So, um, alright, YouTube. Well, I just wanted to do that quick review for you. Not Nothing too serious or long, but... Uh
But alrighty, guys, thanks for watching all my videos, and thanks for being good sports about it and everything. So, um, it's always a pleasure, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks.